How's Dawn? She's a mess. She barely said a word on the way home from the hospital, and now she's locked herself up in a room. I had a talk with Dr. Joplin. We're going to get some answers. Well, I certainly hope it helps. Star's got a lot on her mind right now, and... Uh, actually, Dorian, I need to... I need to tell you something, so I think maybe you better... better sit down, okay? You know. What are you looking at? Your eyes. They're usually closed. What do you mean? You're usually asleep. How do you know? I watch. It's locked for now. You'll be more comfortable if you do as I say. Look, I don't know who you are, and I don't know why I'm in here, but you have to unlock this door. I can't. I gave my word. To whom? To you. I don't understand. You never do. That's who you are. You only go so far, not one step further. It's easier that way. Easier for whom? For all of us. For you, for Tess, for me. Who are you? My name is Bess. Thank you. Come on, Vicki. Hasn't been that long. Yes. Nice to see you, too. Well, at least you're not hiding anymore. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag and uh, into this. I guess those restraints weren't enough for me. Sorry about that. Mm. Why did you come back? Mm, Jessica's taking a breather while I take care of some business. Well, there's nothing here for you now. You know that. Jared and Natalie are safe, and you're not going anywhere. Relax, Vicky. I'm not here to hurt anyone. You are hurting Jessica. You hurt her recovery, and you're keeping her from her new daughter. She's my daughter. I gave birth to her. And I'm not going anywhere until I see that she's OK. Why are you still getting that rag? That's all you're going to say? What do you want me to say? Marty Saybrook returns from the dead. She's found living with your ex-husband, the man who raped her when she was in college. And you're critiquing my taste in tabloids? What, what do you want me to do, Dorian? You want me to yell? Well, I can't exactly do that now, can I? Because I have a toddler upstairs who needs his sleep. I've got another little boy who hasn't seen his father in weeks and a little girl who just lost her baby. But, oh, what would you like for me to do? Would you want me to, like, toss this face? Would that make you feel better? How's that? Happy now? It's a start. She is fine. Then let me see her. Uh-uh. You're hiding something. No, she needs her mother. You're looking at her. Look, if you want little Miss Precious back, bring me my kid. No, that's not up for negotiation. Who the hell are you? I'm her grandmother, and there is no way I'm letting you put your hands on that baby. You really think I'd hurt her? You hurt everyone, Tess. Not my kids. Not like you and Tori and Victor. They'd all be laughing their asses off. Victoria Lord abusing a poor, helpless baby. Keeping her away from you is not a I'm show. her mother. She needs me. I tell you what, you let Jessica come back and I'll discuss it with her and then she can decide. Not really an option them. now, Vicky. We answer to a higher authority. You're, you're another altar, aren't you? Yes, Jessica. I'm another altar. I'm Bess. I'm nothing like Tess. It's all right. You have nothing to fear from me. I'm here to take care of you. By locking me up in a cage? 
Everything I've done is for your own good. What do you mean? What else have you done? Couldn't you have tossed a coffee mug? Really? This vase cost him a thousand dollars. Dorian. Oh. My daughter just lost her baby. I should have been comforting her. Instead, I had to break the news to her that her father's been holding Marty Saybrook hostage for months in his house. You should have seen the look on her face. I mean, she didn't even know how to react. Well, hell, I don't even know how to react. It is bizarre. Even for Todd. Oh, you know what John told me? What? John told me that Todd made Marty fall in love with him. And that Todd fell in love with Marty, too. Todd fell in love with Marty Saybrook, a woman he raped. Now, how sick is that? What you don't know can't hurt you. And that's my job, to make sure you never get hurt. I thought that was Tess's job. Is that what she told you? Any help that Tess has given you over the years is incidental. Why are you just showing up now? I've been here all along. I just prefer to let you and Tess sort out your squabbles on your own. I only step in if it's absolutely necessary. So you're a fail-safe? Exactly. If you're too fragile or Tess is too willful, I take control. Like Jean Randolph. You both answer to a higher authority? Did you know how hard it is to give birth alone? I'm sure it was a terrible ordeal. It wasn't an ordeal. It was a disaster. What does that mean? Look! I want to see my baby, okay? I need to know that she's okay. I want to see my baby! You can hold her. I won't... I won't even touch her, okay? Let me do that, and then, and then I'll let Jessica come back. Really? Yeah. If I bring the baby here, you will let Jessica come back? Yes. Yes. It's kept on her. Okay? The longer I stay out, the stronger I get. Jessica will fight you. I don't think so. I'm gonna know for a fact that she's locked up. So what's it gonna be, Vic? Me or Jessica? 